Hello and welcome to this quick video on creating an application based on a spreadsheet using Oracle Apex. So I'm just going to go into the App Builder and create an application from a file. Here I can drag and drop various file types including XLS, CSV, TXT, XML or JSON. I'm just going to drop an XLS file in. Here you can see it's picked up the first row as the column headings and then you can see some records here. Well, let's just go and have a look under Configure. You can see a preview here of the records and you can also look at the columns to load for large data sets you can also change the rows to a sample from 200 up to a thousand five thousand or all of the rows obviously if you select all of the rows for a very large data set it'll take some extra time so let's go and give this a table name you also see it's given it an error table name for any records that don't load successfully i'm going to use a syscuid and let's go ahead and load that data. It's actually loading it in the background, so it's very fast. So now let's go and create the application using this button down the bottom here. And we're just going to give this application a name. We're going to call it task. You'll see there's an interactive report with a form and a dashboard already defined. We can go ahead and give it additional features if we choose. But in this occasion, we're just going to create the application. So now let's go and run this application. And instead of having a spreadsheet, now we've got a single source of truth with a table in the Oracle database and all of the data from that table is available in this particular application. So any dates are given a date picker, uh, any numbers, uh, numerics, I can't put in non-numeric values. But if I go and add in a value here, for example, nice big 5,000, then you'll see that that data is automatically available to everyone to be able to see rather than having to try and collate all the data back together again. Another key thing is with this starting application, if we go back into a page, you'll notice that the status is free format I can type in anything I want instead of that what I'm going to do is use the developer toolbar down the bottom here which is only available to developers so not for end users and I'm going to go to the status item and I'm going to change it from a text field to a select list and then if we just go down here I'm just going to use a SQL query and I'm going to write a very simple little SQL So I'm just going to select the status out and return it. I'll just confirm that it's valid SQL. And now I'll save this page, go back to my runtime, and I'm just going to refresh the page here. And when we run it this time, you'll notice that this is a select list. But I've made a bit of a mistake with my SQL because of the fact that we've got multiple values. So once again, I'll just go back in page designer and I'm just going to change my SQL here and put distinct and I don't want to display extra values and down here I'll just put select status save that once again run it and this time if we have a look at the status you'll see that there's just and the four current statuses that we can actually select from. Secondly, you'll note that there's dates here. There's a start date and an end date. So what I'd like to do is actually go and create a calendar on those dates. So I'm just going back to the application homepage and I'll create a page, select calendar. I'll actually add in the breadcrumb to create a new navigation menu entry and I'm just going to select that table called tasks click next I want to display the task name already got the start date add the end date and I'll go ahead and create my calendar and let's just run this page 
and you'll see that there's various entries in here for each task. However, if I click on that, nothing's happening. So I'm going to quickly edit this page and go to Attributes and then go to the Edit link here. And I want to go to the Task page here, page 3. And if I go into the Select list here, I'm going to select the ID and I want the ID from the calendar. I'll just clear the cache on that page. And again, I'll save it and run it. And now if I click on one of these records, you'll see that it's coming up with the particular task that I selected. And so this concludes my short demonstration on how to build an application from a spreadsheet using Oracle Apex. Thank you very much.